Hi, and welcome to Tech Tips from Teachers. This episode will focus on programming and coding apps. Our guest today is Sam Patterson from Palo Alto, California. Sam holds an educational doctorate in literacy and is currently an elementary school technology integration specialist. Prior to that, he spent 11 years teaching middle and high school and is also an educational blogger. Sam, what sort of impact have you seen technology have on the classroom? In my career, I've seen technology have a truly democratic impact. At the beginning, I was the only one who could bring content into my classroom, so no matter how much I wanted my students to have choice, I always had control. Now my students can choose what content they're learning about and bring it in on their own devices. And then with coding and programming, these are two words that we're hearing more and more and more. What sort of impact have you seen that content have and what should we expect in the next five or 10 years? I think we're just at the beginning of what we're gonna see. We're gonna see a lot more content integration where students are going to be not programming for programming's sake, but programming about what they're learning. I have students now who are using Scratch to model the behavior of molecules in different states of matter. It's amazing. We've learned from teachers that there are a few important elements for coding and programming apps. It's crucial for these apps to have opportunities for students to apply the content that's been presented to them. It's important that they're engaging incentives and also an opportunity for students and users to interact with a larger community. Sam, why is it so important there are opportunities for application within these apps? We want coding apps to give students the opportunity to turn on the camera and take a picture of the learning they're doing in class and bring that into the app so that they can then use the app to show what they understand about that knowledge and build more of an understanding about it. You've got experience with students of all ages. Why are incentives so important? Because we want the students to be able to be motivated to work independently through the challenges in the programs, because all of these do have challenges built into them. Got it. And then what about that community piece? Why is that important? It's huge, because when the student publishes their work to a community and other students can interact with it, they really are publishing their work. In the classic model of assessment, that publication, sharing it with the world, is kind of the highest level of the work we do. They've created a text, they've sent it out into the world, and it's really motivating for students when they realize other people are playing their game, watching their presentation. Let's take a look at some exemplar apps for coding and programming. First one, what makes Tinker for School so great? I love Tinker for Schools because they have deep resources. I can tell my students, if you don't know the answer, read the screen and find it. And they can find either the directions or the tab for help that brings them those directions. This is important because teachers can't be the ones holding all the knowledge about coding. The application needs to give students the guidance and assistance they need when they need it. And what do you like about the FOOS Free Code Hour? The FOOS is very engaging. My students would spend all day there if they could. And it's engaging because it's playful, there's really good incentives, and at the same time they do a good rollout of different abilities. And then at the end, students are able to choose what they want to do with their abilities. So if they want to create an infinite number of boxes, they can. And then with Pocket Code, which makes that such a great app for classroom use. Pocket Code allows students to program something on their Android tablet and then publish it to a community and other people, students and non-students, will be able to interact with that code. And that gives students a real sense of having created an actual text that's going out into the world. So to recap, a few key things to keep in mind when developing apps for coding and programming. It's crucial for students to have opportunities to apply what they've learned. It's important for apps to have engaging incentives and it's important for users to be able to interact with a larger community. For more episodes of Tech Tips from Teachers, check out the Google Developers YouTube channel. Thanks.